Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Block Hash Exploring the Blockchain, episode 374. Today we'll be talking with a developer advocate from Cartesi, Joao. Um, Cartesi is using application specific rollups. We'll be talking about that within the episode, coupled with Linux to transcend traditional EVM limitations, things that hold back developers using the Ethereum blockchain that you can now override by going through Cartesi and it allows for so much more creativity in development and scalability. So we're going to be covering that particularly in this episode, uh, learning more about Cartesi and how you can take advantage of it as a developer. So be sure to stay tuned for the full episode and make sure to check out all the links for Cartesi down below. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Block Hash Exploring the Blockchain, episode 374. Today, I have Joao uh, here to talk about Cartesi. He is a developer advocate, I believe, for Cartesi. Um, and we're going to be talking specifically about application specific rollups and how um, Cartesi is helping to transcend traditional problems and issues that have occurred with. Uh, EVM and also talking about how they integrate things like Linux into uh, what they do solving those problems. So, Joel, welcome to the show. Super happy to have you here and talking about Cartesi today. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm good. I'm very happy to be here. And first of all, wow, prediction here. Amazing. I really like the ah, whole environment, you. the system. It's so cool. <laughs> thank you, man. We, we put a lot into it. Before we get started, tell us more about yourself. I'm sure people are going to be very curious to who you are, what you've done, and you know what your kind of role is uh, working with Cartesi. Okay, so besides a very traditional nerd, right, uh, into Lord of the Rings and Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm a developer advocate at Cartesi. I actually took a long while to hop into this blockchain world and I took my undergrad courses in computer science and information systems back in Brazil. And I've studied a lot of Web2. I've worked on Web2. I made some friends who were already very into Web3. But I started on startups. Then I went to this consulting company uh, called PSR. It's a consulting and solution development company where one of the solutions actually was um, fungible token solution for carbon credit and green energy credit. And then I had to learn a lot about blockchains and how they work. Uh, and you know, once the bug bites, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to let go. But yeah, so the next step for me were for sure coming into Cartesi. It's a great experience here. It's amazing to be here and uh, what I do here is basically as a developer advocate, who sometimes they call developer evangelists or uh, developer relationship. I really like developer relationship. The goal is to bring people in uh, by creating work, doing workshops, creating content, um, explaining how to use the tech, participating in events, guiding users through hackathons, um, documentations, manuals. All these sort of things. Um, yeah, exactly. What what was attractive for you about Cartesi? You know, coming to work with them as a developer advocate. Um, they're different than every other company. Uh, at first, I this solution that I told you I worked on before joining Cartesi. After a while, I realized that if I had used Cartesi, it would have been so much easier. And then I started researching it. And the thing is. It empowers developers to do whatever they want and to implement all the knowledge they gathered through years and years in one single place with one single tech. Uh, it's actually amazing because when we talk about what is Cartesi, right? 
although the the moto the app specific rollups with linux runtime there is a lot going on in this sentence but the crucial thing is you can develop for blockchain with any language and any stack you want so you can use go you can use python you can use javascript c plus plus and everything that comes with it to develop to the blockchain it's a great experience so and and this open opens uh, so many paths and so many ways for you to do stuff that it's just unimaginable <laughs> What what are some of those things that it opens up that allows you to do? What what are some of the missions or goals here with Cartesi? Okay, so we, we strive for these two things. The first one is this capability of doing everything you always wanted with all the tooling that you wanted. And the second one is we when we talk about it's the first part of the sentence, right? It's app specific. That means you don't have to compete with the rest of the blockchain for computational resources. So in the EVM, everyone is running all the applications, everyone is validating all the applications. And that takes a toll on the environment because it gets more expensive, it gets slower, everything's harder. If you do app specific, that means that every node that's running the application, in our case, this will be the Cartesian nodes with the Cartesian machines, they are focused only on running a specific application so there's no competition which means it's faster it's less expensive i know that you guys also implement uh linux as well into um you know solving some of these issues tell me a bit more how that works with the cartesi virtual machine is that you know the ability for developers to build using linux um or is it integrated in other ways yeah, exactly. So the way we do it is this risk five machine that I talked about. When you are developing an app, when you're deploying an app for Cart with Cartesi, for example, what you're doing is you're picking a blockchain. It can be Ethereum, it can be Polygon, whatever you want, uh, as long as it's, it's EVM compatible. And you are deploying a few smart contracts there that interact with the Cartesi machine. So inside this Cartesian machine, you have the Linux runtime environment. And this runtime is communicating with the blockchain, getting the input and processing whatever you coded there or whatever you implemented there. So for example, if you want to put an AI model running there, you can just send some input data to the blockchain. And then this virtual machine will get this data and process however you coded it to do. So with Linux, the cool thing is everything's developed for Linux first, right? Mm -hmm. So we are always ahead of everything because everything will be compatible. Much more inclusive for developers too. Yeah. You know, with Ethereum, you having to learn Solidity and Solidity being the only thing that you can really use. It's kind of a, in some ways a setback for a lot of developers who want to yeah. start building right away. So it's good that you guys integrate Linux and give them some options. Exactly. And Solidity, it, it does have its limitations, right? It's still growing in maturity, but libraries for machine learning, for gaming, complex computations, it will always be a hard thing to do there. And we have a lot of experience in all the history of computers, right, uh, doing that. So why not bring that and bring the best of both worlds together? With... Um... Cartesi, I know you guys have some projects and use cases. Uh, wanted to talk about a few of them to kind of give people some ideas of what's being done with Cartesi. Yeah, um, sure. I, I heard about a, a Doom um, use case that sounded really, really cool. If you want to touch yeah. on that, maybe a little bit. Um, or if the, any others maybe that stand out that you think are pretty cool. Yeah, of course. So uh, as I said, it's Cartesi is perfect for complex computations, right? And it's completely verifiable because once you have these Cartesian machines, deterministic machines, you can always reproduce every step someone took during a computation. And it's completely scalable because Solidity, it does uh, how many steps, I think, for a block, 
I think it's something around 10 million steps in Ethereum, 10 million steps in 13 seconds, while with Linux, you can perform 3.6 billions or something like that, which is a huge difference. Uh, so we can actually perform the, this extremely limited things, uh, extremely rare things to do, per se. And with that, we can run Doom on the Cartesi machine. Uh, that happened in a very funny way, actually, because Cartesi community is very present on Twitter. Um, X, uh, it's very present on Discord, communities as a whole, right? We're always talking, participating in hackathons. Um, and some guy one day decided to post on Twitter, hey, if Ethereum is the com world computer, how how come no one managed to run Doom on it yet, right? Because there's this meme that people run Doom everywhere. People actually implemented Doom on Minecraft, uh, on Notepad++, but no one had done it in Ethereum. So this guy from Cartesi, Eduardo, he he decided that, hey, challenge accepted, right? And <laughs> he replied, we had the, the screenshot, it's really fun. Because what he did is he took uh, Doom, he compiled it to the environment where we run, and you basically can play it recording every step you do, and then you can send it to the blockchain for people to verify your steps. So it's an amazing implementation. We do lots of cool stuff with it. For example, on these last ETH Global in Istanbul, we created this cardboard arcade machines and we place it there and people could actually play Doom in an arcade along with other games, right? We, we also had Snake, for example, we had uh, Anticopter. So, plethora of games where people can enjoy and have fun and doing it on chain sort of way. Uh, but it's not limited only to games, right? Games are a cool proof of concept, but you can, as I said, run machine learning models. There was this group that developed the uh, chain GPT, which, which is basically an attempt of chat GPT to the blockchain, and you can mm -hmm. do it on Cartesi. Uh, which is very cool because there are reasons for which you want something to be verifiable. You actually want to be sure that for that input, you got that answer if you're like, for example, your kids are using the chat GPT. There are reasons that parents would want that. So there are also, I mean, this last hackathon, we also had a very cool one, dub 3 AI, where you could record your voice teach your voice to this machine learning model, send a text, and it would basically dub that text for you. So lots of cool implementations. Danilo created SimCity. Uh, he, he was a finalist of ETH Global Online with SimCity on the blockchain. It seems like there's quite a breadth of what you can do on Cartesi, and that's really cool. Is a lot of this developed during like the hackathons, like Cartesi Experiment Week? um or is this stuff just cropping up all the time yeah uh just to explain to people what is cartesi experiment week it was this week that lots of us stopped what we were doing to get a better grasp on the tech as a whole because as the foundation grows everyone's developing different things and sometimes we have to integrate the knowledge so we decided to do very nice implementations it aligned with the it's global so for example, people could build some solutions like the one I, I said that, that uh, Daniel built, the SimCity. Their hackathons tend to be a good place to foster idea. Hackathons, uh, idea towns, and we tend to send those people the rolluplab.io, for example, which is a catalog of lots of products we built there it's very good to check so we have all the projects there with their link to github so you can clone them you can test them you can implement things on top of that which is a nice experience for developers yeah i also went to the uh, cartesi rollup lab and there's a whole bunch of projects in there um in what stage they're in and what they're focused on and it's kind of cool uh, again being able to see the wide variety of what's being you know built with or experimented on on, on top of Cartesi. 
yeah, we, we have some some good things there you can build on top of. And it's very nice because some of them have, I mean, all of them have a very clear way of how do you use that. Mm -hmm. But some of them even are accompanied by uh, medium posts, for example, where uh, a guy from my team, he developed this tutorial on how to use MC2 Gen to build machine learning applications on Cartesi. So you have a very guided hand holding tutorial to do that, which is a great way to jump in. Is there like a developer focused community side to this as well, where people can kind of, you know, get a little bit of that, that hand holding in person, as well as maybe bounce some ideas off of other developers, um, you know, figure out you know, what other people are building and maybe taking inspiration, um, like any like kind of group or community where developers can specifically be together. Yeah, uh, Discord is uh, the best place to go. Okay. We're very present on Twitter and, but our Discord is very live and people are there having arguments all the time about what's the best way to do things, which is really nice. And it's open for discussion. The community is always welcome. We help with any implementation that is needed. If you end up finding whatever bug possible, we will be there to help you and guide you through it. Yes, our Discord is very lively and we have a, something that's kind of close to the rule of lab.io. It's the spotlight channel where you can also look for solutions that are being built and improved upon. Yeah, so the other thing I was going to ask about is how developers can get more involved. Like, do you guys have uh, grant programs? Do you have um, bug bounty opportunities? Like, what are some ways developers can kind of sink their teeth a bit more into Cartesi and uh, learn and be involved? We do. Uh, actually, the first thing I would suggest to people to do is read through our docs. They are very good docs. Uh, read through, through Sunodo docs. Sunodo is this tool that really helps you build on Cartesi. And then you can apply to the DevAd seed grants. You can apply to community program seed grant, uh, seeds, uh, CGP, uh, Cartesi community. And then you have our it's not exactly a bug bounty. We have our honeypot application on the main app, which is also a very nice way to interact. So going then one by one, the Cartesi DevEd seed grants are small seed grants with very little bureaucracy for you to apply to a project. We have suggestions of projects and we also accept custom projects and they are evaluated by the developer advocate unity. And we give up to $5,000 grants for project development. Uh, it can be proof of works, uh, proof of concepts, sorry. It can be uh, tooling for Cartesi. It can be just cool applications, whatever that's technical. Uh, then CGP, right? Cartesi grants. They are community grants program. They are larger grants. They have, they go much much higher than 5k but they do have the community input uh discussions there's a council for approving those grants and yeah and that's the building part if you want to interact with it the other way there's the honeypot that i commented the honeypot is this application that we put on the mainnet which is basically an invitation for hackers to come and try to get their bounty right we went a little bit back to the old ways. We put, I think right now it's over uh, 60,000 CTSI already, which means it's over $9,000. And every week we put a higher amount there. So it grows, uh, the price grows and whoever manages to hack it can have it. So it's a, a nice way to test our security, right? And how well our application is working. Also, we did some cool things with it so we can, it was developed in a way that it can always change to the newest version of the Cartesian machine. So you're always interacting with our new tech and you always have the, the challenges of hacking the best version we have yet, which is very good. 
Very cool. It seems like there's a lot of ways for developers to, to get themselves involved. So that's always really good. Um, in terms of like a roadmap, I don't know if that's something you guys have or not, but um, you know, leading into 2024, are there other features or functionalities that you guys are building into the Cartesi virtual machine or that you want to experiment with um, or that you want anyone to just kind of keep an eye on? Oh, uh, there's a lot of things actually, uh, but some of them I don't think I can actually disclose right now. <laughs> but <laughs> no there is a Cortez experiment week. We we could already see. Mm, we we could already see some genius things going on right there. Um, compatibility, even people trying compatibility with Risk Zero and being successful at that. The um, compute solution, there are lots of ways to go, lots of ways to still improve, but we're uh, we're on a good rate way. Cool, I think this is a pretty good place to wrap up. I think we covered most of the, the questions I had on my end. Um, do you, where should people go if they want to check out Cartesi? I know there's the website and I know there's uh, the social media, um, yeah. but is the best place to go, the communities, the discord and stuff like that, or is there any other documentation you could you would direct people to? You can always look at our online docs, mm -hmm. but I highly recommend you joining our discord and joining the discussions that are happening there every day it's the best place to go best place to interact with the community by far and there you will find examples for everything you want to do so it's a really good really really good place to start and try things okay cool um joao thank you for taking the time man really do appreciate it it's great learning more about cartesi and what can be done uh through cartesi versus you know traditionally going through the evm old evm route as a developer um you know some of the ways you guys are improving on those struggles and making it easier for developers as well as you know making it so that they can be more creative and do you know what they're best at versus you know trying to go through the weeds of figuring everything out with blockchain. Um, so appreciate the time, man. Thank you for explaining. And uh, let's talk again soon. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much.